Hey Daryl, where are you going? I'm going to take care of my favourite park. Let's go. Alright. Pick one place to live in. Beach, city or countryside? Uh, city on a beach. What's your current favourite song? Across 110th Street, Bob Womack. Describe your student self in three words. Uh, serious, efficient, lazy. Do you believe in love at first sight? Uh, once. What's your greatest wish? Uh, I wish that all mosquitoes could be extinct for, for but without affecting the ecosystem. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, what do you look forward to during Chinese New Year? Uh, married adults, great packets. What do you look forward to the most during Valentine's Day? Uh, romance. Where do you draw your inspirations from? Um, well, I draw my inspirations mostly from like the setting, so I always let that inform me first whenever I start writing. So it's always like the places I live in, the places I'm familiar with, the places I identify with, and so like take for instance this structure. Um, when I first looked at it, I thought, how strange, like, what's a bus stop doing in the middle of the park? But then I thought I rationalised in my mind, thinking like, oh, I guess it's just like, to take shelter from the rain. But, yeah, these kinds of strange structures always like, inspire me and, yeah, they always form the basis of stories, yeah. And now it's time for the Guess That Song Challenge. Pick oh. one category and we'll play the starting few seconds of the song and you have to guess the title. Okay, I'll pick pop then, yeah. Oh, that's Lady Gaga, Perfect Illusion. Woo. Oh, it's Kicked by the Ocean, okay. No, I don't know the song. The Lucas Graham song? I don't know this, the title though. I don't know the title. Yeah. That's not a human voice. I don't know this. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and what's the craziest thing you've ever done in your life? The craziest thing I've ever done? Um, so... When I was young, I used to jump on like the coffee table in like my living room. And my parents always told me not to because like the surface was full of glass. And so, yeah, I didn't listen to them and one day I just fell through. Yeah. Why? You end up in a hospital? Yep, I got surgeries and stuff and scars as well. Oh gosh, it's <laughs> awful. Yeah. <laughs> Name a few things on your bucket list. Um, own a cat, own a flat, own a house, get the secret to immortality. And are you writing a second novel? Um, no, but I'm planning it. We heard that you're a fan of Harry Potter. Which house are you in? Uh, Ravenclaw. If you could be a guest on any talk show, what would it be? The Graham Norton Show. Have you ever cried in a movie? Have I what? Have you ever cried in a movie? Oh, uh, no, but I did cry at the end of the OA. Yeah. Tell us more about the Kaba Quartet. Um, it's my first novel. It's set between Singapore and Japan. And um, it's about a cast of characters who come in and out of each other's lives. And it's about how they reckon with each other, with themselves, with where they are in their lives. Yeah. So, what do you think about the local literary scene? I think it's growing, but I definitely think it's growing at a pace no one can really understand yet. Yeah. Any advice for people who want to be a writer? Um, I say have a lot of discipline, have a lot of time, um, have something to say. I think that's most important, yeah. And what is that one emoji you can't live without? The heart emoji. All right, and it's time for the dance of challenge. Okay. So when the music starts, you have to do whatever the dance is that comes okay. up on the screen. Okay. Oh, okay. Okay, okay. Oh gosh, <laughs> that was funny. And there's like a truck behind you. <laughs> okay, one last question for you, yeah. Daryl. Uh, what is your favorite drink? Water. Serious? Yeah. <laughs> Alright, thanks Daryl, thanks for having me. Okay, thank you.